Live and in right color, Ken. Live and That's in right. color, yes. Yeah. Studio 67. Uh, we are here to uh, chat, uh, raising, uh, you know, very big bucks when it comes to uh, this uh, this charitable cause every single year. We're so excited to be a, a yes. part of this again. Stan Fowler. Yeah, the Stan Fowler Fund. And we got the, 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 the good gentleman here from the Lions Club. And uh, check it out. Sh Shane Button. Uh, Shane, okay. Shane Button. Shane Button's joining us. We, 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 were, we were on his airwaves today. Yeah, we were on Did the you know airwaves uh, today with uh, yeah. Tyler Cropley. And right. uh, he's joining us uh, via <laughs> yeah. stream tonight. Uh, Shane Button, thanks for joining us. And uh, again, always uh, a pleasure to be a part of this uh Amazing, uh, amazing yeah. event every single year, Shane. The Stan Fowler Santa Claus Fund, Country 93 One, Feeding Families Radio Thought. Yes. Now, we should say when Mark got on the radio, he also wanted to do the local news, uh, commercial <laughs> spot, and give everyone the weather. Old habits die yeah, hard, right? Uh, yeah, they, they, they sure do. <laughs> okay, swing, swing by tomorrow, Mark. Maybe we'll find a spot for you. There might be a spot there. <laughs> That's it, right? All right. Well, let's uh, let's introduce our guest. Let's introduce here. our guest here, pal. Yeah, our in studio the, guest from the Schumacher Lions <laughs> Club. Uh, we have uh, hanging out uh, next to Klopp there, Danny and Sarah, and we've got John McCauley. Yes, from the Lions Den. Yes, and of course, uh, Danny, you're the the president of the Schumacher Lions Club. Yes, I am. Uh, I'd really like to thank you guys for for inviting us to the show. It's always a great time, and uh, your hearts are your hearts are there. And it it, it, show, it shows a lot to the community. This is where your hearts are, mm -hmm. like like the Lions Club too. And I really really appreciate it to be here. Yeah, well, we appreciate it's, the invite to come back yeah. to uh, to help you raise a, a lot of money. And again, uh, you know, times are tough. Uh, no matter where you look, <laughs> families need uh, that extra boost. And uh, you know, chatting before the show, uh, we can chat about it now. You're saying uh, applications uh, for these vouchers this year already double of where we were at last year. Yeah, the the cutoff is uh, it's, it's Friday, but uh, we usually get some trickling in before that, and we're usually sitting around 40, 50 applications by this time, uh, knowing that we've got probably another 400 to pick up by the end of the week. We're well, well over 100 already, so like we're double last year already. So double the the anticipation. Um, you know, it's it's hard out there for people and. Uh, you know, if we can help them, uh, we'll try to help as many as we can. Well, I think we should maybe just take a quick step back for folks that aren't aware. We know Stan Fowler is a very predominant name in our community. For the people that aren't aware, uh, maybe we'll let Danny introduce it. But it, it, it's been in our community a long time, assisting families in needs. Well, first of all, it used to be called the Santa Claus Fund. Okay. <clears throat> a little later, we did change it over to Stan Fowler. Um all good, all the good intentions for to to help the to needy people for for Christmas time. Um, John can carry on some more with that one. Yeah, it, we've been doing it uh, for well over forty years now. Uh, the Schumacher Lions have been involved for over forty years, but the actual fund <laughs> itself started in nineteen forty seven. That's all mm -hmm. how long they've been doing it. So. Uh, when it started, they started out just giving out uh, turkeys and uh, and food baskets, and then it just got so big. They had so many people that it was just so hard for them to th think of uh, it, with all the volunteers. <clears throat> it was just too taxing on them, so they decided to go with the voucher, which offer which uh, every family, uh, excuse me, that qualifies uh, will get a a voucher that can be used at uh, any grocery store in Timmins and uh, the one in South Porcupine. Uh, with the exception of Walmart, uh, the corporate stopped doing it about, uh, I don't know, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. They used to accept them as well. Um, and because of the, um, you know, the economy and everything else, the food prices are so high that we were kind of not forced, but we decided to go a little bit higher this year, so we're given a hundred and fifty dollar voucher. Uh, last year it was one hundred and twenty five, so hopefully that'll help uh, these families a little bit more. That's right. So yeah, if, if you're a family in need, um, you can apply for one of these vouchers. Now the deadline to apply, they would like it to be this Friday, and Ronnie's actually going to post the number for the Lions uh, Club for you can call. And there's other places people can submit their application, right? Yes, there's uh, CDSAB, there's the Children's Treatment Center in town, 
uh, ODSP. Um, we have all of the native uh, friendship centers. Uh, now we just need to uh, remind people that this um, was set up for families uh, with young children. That's what the uh, what our mandate says. Um, although we do try to help uh, <clears throat> uh, as many people as we can, our priority is families with children. And once we can take care of them, then we'll try to help. Uh, if we have left, we'll try to help as many people. It is a humongous <coughs> deal. And the money raised will go to the food vouchers. Now, I don't want to, uh, I want to keep the conversation flowing with everyone because country 93.1 <laughs> there, Kinsman, they stepped in and did something big because everyone, you know, you get a lot of questions. What happened to the old, like it used to be a telethon at one point. Yeah. And then that ended. It, it, and this is where you guys stepped in, right, Shane? Yeah, so we were doing this. Uh, what is this now, John? Five, six years now. Oh. We've been we've been partnered up with you, and uh, it kind of worked out to be great timing. <laughs> we were looking for um, a charity to partner with. We were doing a radiothon anyway, right? We'd done one for a couple of years before that with with a couple other charities, and we were looking for one that uh, that we could kind of go long term with. Right at the same time that the CTV telethon was kind of coming to an end for a, a few various reasons, which you know, John could probably get into more than I could since he was on that end of it. So it was kind of a perfect perfect timing where we came together and you know they got they had all the fundraising back you know side of it down because they've been doing it for 40 years for the tv side and then we were able to you know provide the the platform there and it's grown i think all pretty much every year we've gained you know a little little a little more money every year from that and then of course jumping on with you guys last year was a you know an, another boost forward so uh, you know, it's been absolutely fantastic. I, I've, <laughs> I've seen the comments here, a couple of people talking about how they've gotten them themselves and uh, that it's the only way that they've been able to do dinner at Christmas time, which is exactly what we try to tell people, you know, when we're doing this, like there's a lot of people that without this money, they don't have the turkey and the stuffing and all the things that go with it for their family. <laughs> you know, Christmas doesn't quite feel as Christmassy, I don't think, without at least some of that stuff, so... Yeah, it, it, it is a big deal because once the partnership with CTV ended and, and you've, like Shane said, you guys can chat about it, you're looking for a, a partner that can help <coughs> spread the message out in country, exactly. country 93.1, you know, steps in and helps provide the message and uh, support it getting out there. This is how people all hop in and donate. And we've been fortunate enough to be invited to the party the last yeah, couple of years. Kinsman, the last couple so, of years. And again, yeah. uh, you know, like last year, we uh, we put up the challenge to hit uh, 60,000 on the Country 93.1 airwaves. And uh, mm -hmm. this year, uh, actually this morning with uh, Tyler Cropley, we put out the challenge. What do you think, Shane? 70,000 plus is yes. uh, the goal. And uh, <laughs> we were telling Tyler today, he wrote, he's uh, supposed to weigh, uh, he's, it's sitting on a whiteboard yeah. back in the studios <laughs> there. But yeah. uh, I, I think we can hit that and then some this year. And again, with the vouchers being, you know, $150 per voucher, they've had to increase. I, I think we can do this. Yeah, I mean it's 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 a jump up for sure, but I mean it's it's needed, right? Especially this year, I think this year really is needed. And so if we can, if we can hit that number, a lot of families. I mean, I don't, I'm not very good at math, but I, I imagine it's you know 400, 450, maybe more in terms of the number of families that you can get, which is a lot of people. And, and what you what you find, gentlemen, we're mentioning is. <clears throat> You know, it's no shock when we say there's more people than ever in need, but you're seeing that surplus in numbers already uh, from people that registered. The numbers have almost already doubled from last year. Yeah, exactly. Actually, you know, when you go back last year and the year before, and you look at your food prices that they have in the grocery store, it's doubled. You know, you used to be able to buy a certain amount for $100. Well, with that same hundred dollars, you can slash that in half of what you're getting. <coughs> and you know, we we all work, we all have our jobs. I can imagine how those people that don't make as much, how they got a deal to to feed themselves or to pay their 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 rent or anything having their utilities. You know, this is this is this is getting almost to the ridiculous side. You know, it, it, we really got to help yeah. these people. You know, it, it really you is. You know, and as far as I'm concerned, the sky is, is the mm -hmm. limit to what we can do as long as we have partnerships with this mm -hmm. whole town has to get on board yeah. to help. You know, we all help one another. That's the way it should be. You know, 
I'm not looking for myself. You're not looking for yourself. <coughs> We're looking out for our community. We live here. We have to take care of our community. Gotta look after well, we our own. own. That's it, right. It, and people, you know, uh, you know, the unfortunate thing about the world, there's always been people that struggled, but now people in single income households and even two income households are struggling because the cost of not just groceries, heat, hydro, rent, and everything you mentioned have gone up. And even two incomes, two families working, two people it, working full time, to by. Yeah. They, they don't have it's anything after everything's paid. And you know we see a lot of that also. So well, can you imagine somebody making a minimum wage of $15 an hour? Right. And let's say their husband and wife, they're making 15 each. How can you even live on that? Yeah. You know? Yeah, Some people have tough. to uh, yeah. go, go buy dog food now, you know? Right. You can't even be, you know, you can't even buy hot dogs anymore. Nine dollars a pack or whatever it is. So, you know what I mean? This how, is, can you, how can you live off that? How can you live? Buy, you know, like uh, your kids something for Christmas. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, like, this is where the, a lot of a lot of the where it goes uh, with these vouchers is if they don't get a voucher, then they got to use that money to buy food and their kid don't get a, a gift type thing. Right. right? So, yeah. Right. Look, uh, so, so, so Rochelle has a great comment there, Mark. Uh, yeah, it's uh, insane. It's insane. Me and my husband make good enough money, and it's still not enough. Uh, bologna has gone up almost eight <laughs> bucks. Yeah, a pack. right. And, uh, you know, so there's a, a pack of sandwiches. Yeah, there's a hardworking yeah. household right there, and um, her and her husband. You know, the, um, what are they saying? Make enough money. They make enough money. So, so two income household, and still like you know, and still scraping by. So yeah. that, that's been a big shift here in the last five to 10 years. And, and of course, we feel it after COVID dramatically, but this is where the Stan Fowler comes in, providing some assistance to families just to be able to enjoy and at least so, be some food decision. in their fridge around the yeah. holiday season. Like it shouldn't be the decision yeah. where, you know, do I put something under the tree or do we eat? You know, that's uh, <clears throat> that's the grasp of where we're at right now. And again, it's, uh, it's tough. Well, to <clears throat> unfortunately, it's it's becoming a more and more uh, case uh, usually you know like it's a small group of people but over the last five six seven years it's just like increased substantially every year it seems to double triple you know and this year you know like everybody like you said you see the cost of uh, when you go to the grocery store a hundred dollars used to get you four or five bags now you're lucky if it gets you one bag you know? and yeah you know, we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't even have to wait. Um, our our date is uh, next Thursday, uh, December the seventh for this. And if people are out there uh, have a phone. Uh, I don't see any reason why you guys shouldn't call us between now and then. I mean, it should not wait just for the one day to do it. These people call. So you can take a donation. Yep. Uh, we can take it right anytime now if they, yeah, they want to throw some money at you. You know. <clears throat> Yeah, they can call the number on the screen there, 705-267-6838. And if nobody answers, you can leave a message. And I check it at least four or five times a day. Mm -hmm. We can take uh, credit card payments. Uh, we will take anything. We can take e-transfers. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to e-transfer a donation, yeah. it's uh, stanfowlersantafund at gmail.com. And it goes directly into the stand for right into the fun. So, yeah. it, it is a beautiful thing. So uh, I wanted to ask Shane for people that don't know. So, so talk to us a little bit about a radio thon. What is going to happen throughout the course of the day on your airwaves? Sure. So, yeah, I know a lot of people, when you think anything a thon, you usually think telethon, right? And then that's got, you know, that's usually involving, uh, you know, music and all that kind of stuff. Well, the radio has got the built in music already, right? So we've already got all the songs people want to hear. So what we do is we focus around every time we turn on a microphone, we're telling stories. Hopefully we're reading out pledges, yeah, getting names and we're putting challenges out there and it's a full 12 hours. So we start at 6 a.m., go to 6 p.m. And a lot of the times, you know, if there's two or three hosts at the station, we're pretty much there the whole time. And, you know, we might take shifts and jump on, but uh, it is it is a very different day the way it's laid out. I mean, people kind of get used to probably the fact that during the morning show, you'll probably hear Tyler there talk four times. Well, during this, he might talk six or eight. You might turn the microphone on in between songs that you don't normally turn it on and kind of throughout the rest of the day as well. You know, spots where you don't normally hear us talking. If we've got a big donation, we've got a story to tell, we got a, something like that. 
uh, it's, it's really important. So, you know, formatics kind of go out the window on that day. Cause it's all about, you know, getting, raising the money, getting the awareness, putting that out there. So, um, we do, of course, you know, we, we're a little more lenient on taking requests. We're still going to only play country, of course, and we have to still have it in our system. We're not going to start playing Metallica or anything like that, but, uh, <laughs> you know, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll try, we'll try and get it on if we've got it, you know, in, in the past, we've done that for donations. Sometimes we've done it just because, um, but I think it's, it's just such a good cause that, you know, one day out of the year, we can kind of mess with the way we normally do things for a good cause. And, uh, and, and this year, as we've done pretty much every year, I think John can correct me, there might've been one or two years we didn't, but we always kind of have like a, uh, a draw at the end, right? Anybody that makes us a donation of $50 or more gets one, uh, gets a name in the draw. And I think it's every $50, right? John gets an extra one. So hundred bucks to, 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 uh, entries and so on. Yeah, exactly. And uh, this year, um, Mikey's, uh, I don't know if you uh, wanted to, to say it, but Mikey's has donated $2,500 gift, uh, gift card to uh, anything in his store. So you can buy anything up to $2,500 in his store. And the, every $50 donation, paid donation, uh, gets uh, <clears throat> your name in, in the draw. So like Shane said, if you donate two hundred dollars, you get four uh, uh, four ballots in in the draw. Uh, we won't be doing the draw that night um, because it's because it's paid donations, and some people send their payment in by um, by check still and, and stuff like that. So we usually give them in a like a week to ten days, and when when we'll have the draw is the morning that we go out and do the. Um, the actual voucher yeah, deliveries voucher. on December 16th. So we all meet at the Lions Club uh, and you gentlemen are invited and uh, Country 93 will, will be invited and we'll uh, get Mikey's there and we'll do the draw that uh, that morning before we head out. Awesome. Great incentive <laughs> to, uh, you know, start uh, I mean, putting some challenges uh, together. I know... <laughs> You know, a lot of a lot of a lot of businesses out there. You know, maybe figuring out how to uh, come up with some money. You know, maybe uh, you know start collecting a few bucks here or there between now and next Thursday. And again, it uh, you know it's nice to get the donations the day of next Thursday. But uh, you know, you heard from uh, Danny and John here tonight. You can phone the Lions Club at uh, any time and uh, drop off donations. Now, I know in years past, uh, there's the the cheer pot where they can still donate uh, cash in person the day of, uh, can they just draw Like if someone wanted to drop off a donation yep. here and then, is that uh, cheer pot still yep. there right now? Throughout the day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. we'll be at the lion's den. We'll have the cheer pot there. And if you want to make a donation, a cash donation, throw it in the pot. If you want to make a credit card donation, we'll have our uh, credit card uh, machine there. If you want to do an e-transfer, We'll even have a laptop there to let you there do you an e-transfer. So. All, all ways to, to <clears throat> collect uh, money. Yeah. And again, $150 per voucher. And, you know, the, the need is in higher demand even mm -hmm. uh, compared to last year. So, oh, uh, for sure, yeah. Very double. Important. Yeah, it's double over where we were double last yeah. year. And uh, you still have, uh, you know, the rest of this week to go for uh, yeah. for vouchers yeah. and to uh, to apply. Yeah, and we'll, we'll <clears> aim to try to – we've – so I've been doing it now for about 15 years and we've never had to turn anybody away. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that uh, if we, we can raise that extra money, we don't have to turn anybody away. So we'll help as so, many people. So my comment here would be, you know, not everyone is in a position to, uh, to donate because they're struggling on their own, but maybe you can go to your employer encourage them to get a pot together your employer to make a yeah, donation a bucks and challenge there. other employers you know 10 yeah. you know, easy math 10 employees you each put a, a buck in there's 10 bucks uh, that uh, you know the the stamp Valley mm -hmm. fund didn't have before mm -hmm. you know that donation and again every dollar adds up and again you know we're talking with tyler uh, mm -hmm. on country 93 this morning uh you know stating that uh you know a little uh it was it was last year a little a uh, little a little fan uh, you know broke open their piggy bank and it was a yeah. dollar fifty and that it, was yeah, my story kinsman all, i well, told that you never remember what i say <laughs> I, I remember he's, he's trying to claim he it steals as he's stealing your lines he, he, all, he always i'm more worried the garbage truck came by and i don't know if kinsman did his chore of taking out the garbage I did. Yeah, he did he, garbage so, so now i owe him your dollar i was going to give you is going to stan fowler though 
Okay. <laughs> but uh, here, re retell that story. It was uh, such a good yeah. Story. So it, it was really heartwarming. So we we, we had a, a young gentleman who said, "I only have a buck twenty five, but I went into my piggy bank and that's all I had." And I thought that was super awesome. And I said, "You know, a dollar twenty five, you know, is going to mean a lot to someone." <clears throat> And, uh, they, you know, of course, they welcoming the big donations, but anyone that can give anything, as cliche as it sounds, it means a lot. Yeah. And plus, that's a great example set by that young gentleman uh, of what he did, providing everything he had to help someone, to help which is someone, super cool. Have yeah. a merrier Christmas, yeah. uh, you know, an extra yeah. plate at the table. It's, yeah. uh, it's nice to see. Trisha from uh, her business, uh, Pretty and Polish, are going to be making a donation. donation so let's help yeah. this year. So that's uh, amazing stuff. Yeah. Thanks, Trisha, for that uh, comment. Yeah. This so, is, uh, oh, sorry ahead. if I can just further what you're saying about uh, go to if you don't have the money, the money maybe you go to work and get your employees involved. You would be surprised how many uh, donations we do get like that, mm -hmm. like from different. Uh, stores different uh companies uh all of their staff throw in a little pot and they show up at the club and make a donation yeah. so one of the things that i really like what you guys do shane is you tell stories throughout the days about people who made donations and you know it's great to hear the community cheer but it also encourages others with these challenges yeah, is the that challenges is that something amazing. we're going to hear this year yeah, I mean, people by nature are competitive, right? So if you put a challenge out there to your competitor that say, oh, hey, I made a $50 donation, I bet you, you can't do that. I mean, people are going to do that, right? We're, <laughs> we're just competitive creatures by nature. So that does help, especially from a business side. Everybody wants to, uh, you know, to kind of show, oh, I can do that too. I'm just as good. And hey, it might be a selfish reason to be donating, but it's still donating and it's still helping out people nonetheless. So I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, that's right. I'm not sure who started it last year, but there was a, with all of the a couple of mining uh, companies in town, they, they, they got kept out bidding each yeah, other. One awesome. would say, yeah. I challenge this guy. And another one would say, I challenge this one. And next thing you know, the phones were ringing off the hook. Yeah, for, thousands and, uh, you know, $5,000 checks coming yeah. in. And <clears throat> the mines trying to outdo those $5,000 donations, which is great. So hopefully was, they'll uh, they'll yeah, open exactly. their wallets again next Thursday and, uh, you know, have some more uh, challenge fun. There is um, yeah. there's a comment or question from uh, Sarah Strong. What if you're a, a family in need? So what they're asking, Sarah, if you can get your application in by this Friday, one of the ways to do it is to call the Lions Club directly and we'll ask Ronnie to post the number there and also what were the other organizations again sarah can you uh, <clears throat> there's cd sab um there's uh the um children's treatment center uh odsp there's uh about uh, three or four uh, native friendship centers uh in town and uh like the number on the screen there or you can Simply email Stan Fowler Santa Fund at gmail.com. And uh, I check the, those phones, <clears throat> excuse me, I check the phone messages four or five times a day. And I also check my um, the email every day. So if you um, reply to one of those, we'll definitely get, uh, get a hold of you. You can simply leave your name. And phone number, and I'll call you back. Yeah, call you right back. So there yeah. you go. Leave uh, leave the messages, and again, get those uh, phone calls in by Friday to uh, get yourself uh, in line for a voucher. There we go. <laughs> Many amazing things happening, and we should say this is just like the the Lions Club, you know, part of the Stan Fowler. But you guys like help out, and I know you don't publicize it, but I want to toot your guys' horn. I, I, I like some bragging, you know. I brag about myself too, but you, I, I know for a fact, because people have told us you guys help out a lot of people throughout the years that are in need. You know, Stan well, Feller's a big thing, but throughout the year, I've heard many stories where the Lions Club has uh, stepped up and helped people we have individually a, need it. Yeah. We, we have a big banner down in, in our club, and our main thing, our main theme is we serve, we serve the public. Okay, this is what we're all about, to help out there, okay? We give our time, uh, we don't get compensated, we do it out of the goodness of our hearts. We have 45 members who have the same idea in mind, okay? And we don't mind doing that for people, okay? 
we started two years ago from 24 and all of a sudden we were like 47 48 members and more people hear about the lions club and, and the things that we do and they want to join us and they want to help they want to help out okay and my hat goes out to those people a lot of good uh, carrying uh, people out there who uh, want to be a part of the Lions Club. Uh, you know, are you always uh, taking, uh, you know, new recruits? Always. There, there's not a max to, to come nope. in and join you? No, nope. <clears throat> no. Nope. We'll fill that whole place up. We have uh, we have dances and I think our thing is like 130, whatever it is. We'll fill that place up. Mm -hmm. If we got our dance... That's our way through the sand fowler in order to get stuff. There we go. I mean, I would, a, we'll I, come in there I, would I would dance 24 hours yeah, to make yeah, not a bad situation you know, to for, have. You know, for people. Well, so, well, we also have a lot of projects that we do throughout the year. So, the more uh, members you have, the better. Like, uh, we have some that are there every single event. So, it'd be nice if we can, you know, give them a break every once in a while. Yeah. and. You know, we don't want to take all the glory. You want everybody else to share in it too. Yeah. You know? So the more members, the more people who want to put their hand into the ring, the better we are off as a as a group. As a group. You yeah. know, we don't want to have just one person doing it all. It's, it's too hard for one. And the more, the merrier. And especially the people that come on that really want to do stuff yeah. for, for, for the club, which is for everybody out there. Mm -hmm. You guys make a big dent in this yeah, community. Yeah, the community uh, sure. So before we let everyone go, we'll check in with Shane. Was there any uh, anything else that we might have missed on your end, Shane, that you wanted to let folks know about? No, I mean, other than uh, to keep your ears open to the Radiothon on, on December 7th. And uh, just to note, too, that the number to call on that day isn't the same number that's up on the screen, right? So we'll have a different number uh, on that day so that there's multiple phone lines. Because right now, if I'm not mistaken, John, that number that people can call leading up to it is just the one phone line at the Lions Club. So John goes out and gets us uh, a whole bunch of more phone lines so that we can have more than one person taking phone calls and you're not getting a busy signal. So yeah, uh, just keep your ears open for that number on the day of. And, uh, you know, like we've said, you know, it doesn't have to be on the day to make the donation. You can do it now and we'll still read it out on the day of that kind of thing and, and, and get it, you know, get it. If you get paid tomorrow, you get paid this week, not next week. And you want to make sure you don't go and spend, spend a little bit because it's kind of an, an off week. You know, get it in there now, and, uh, and we'll count it. We'll count it anyway. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Looking forward yeah, to it. Good stuff. Yeah. How about you, fine gentlemen? Anything that we might have uh, missed that you wanted to mention? Well, I'd like to uh, the place where I work. I work for the police department, and uh, I've talked to the upper establishment and kind of coerced them into giving us a hand, and uh, asked them also to give a nudge to the OPP or to the fire department. We're all in the same boat. I hope we'll start to rowing in the same way. You know, it would be lovely to have everybody on board, all the mines, all the suppliers, you know, it takes a group effort to make a thing successful and just hope everybody gets on board. Yep. Well said. Um, thanks for taking it over. <laughs> Can you go up to that uh, Sparky's, Sparky's comment there, comment Ronnie? There. Uh, down uh, one, pal. Right down one. There right. it is. Click on that. And uh, thanks for taking it over, Shane. CDV pulling out was a was a shame, but uh, you guys are making it even better. Yeah. So there you go. So it's, it's nice to see those comments. Yeah. And at the end yeah. of the day, this ensures more, the maximum amount of money or all money goes to help people rather than a, a lot of overhead. Exactly. This is why I don't even pay Kinsman on this day. <laughs> he, he gets zero dollars. He's got to volunteer at all. <laughs> Right? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll donate it to the stamp Fowler. Well, of course. Yes, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Well, anything else on your end? I just want to uh, thank Shane and uh, Country 93.1 because obviously without them, we wouldn't be having uh, such a success that we're doing. We <clears> were in <throat> kind of uh, a bo uh, uh, how do you say that? Uh, we were in dire straits and uh, they stepped up to help us. Uh, to tell you the truth, the Stan Fowler was in uh, jeopardy of us having to shut down because we just lost uh, our revenue source for, and Q93 stepped up and they've been doing a fantastic job. It's been a great uh, partnership uh, the last five, six years, and yeah. I hope it goes another 20 years. Uh, <clears throat> 
I don't know if Shane wants to say that. But <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. It saves us having to find another charity for our radiothon too. So it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> there well, we go. You, you mentioned uh, <laughs> it started off a little slow. The first year we were at about 32,000 and then it just increased. And like last year, uh, somebody, I'm not sure who it was, made a prediction that we would Hit sixty thousand. Now the, the kinsman. Yeah, I, I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, did you have a heart attack this <laughs> yeah, morning? Yeah, we, we did the same prediction <laughs> yeah. uh, on Tyler Cropley's show this morning. <laughs> yeah. That uh, I, I put it out there. It's out there now. Seventy thousand uh, is where we're going to be. I'm not as nervous as I was that. last year because. Yeah. Uh, we ended up at sixty-two thousand last yeah. year. Which was I, uh, I I've spent the last half hour trying to do the math. By the way, uh, at one hundred and fifty bucks, seventy thousand would be four hundred and sixty-six and two-thirds families. There, there you go. go. Yeah, there you go. Right. Eh? Big time help. Can yes. you imagine? Can you imagine if this was the old days where you had to have four hundred and fifty turkeys? Right. What kind of a big truck would you need to yeah, to deliver those things? Mark and I can't even lift a turkey, so <laughs> it better ask what the envelopes. Um, Amanda is asking a question. Uh, so I just called a fill out an application for my mom. Okay. Yes. Is she able did to she do have, that? Yeah. Did she leave the her uh, um, phone the contact? Out, contact? Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I think she's asking the question if she can call in and fill out an application for her mom. Well, you can. Again, we had mentioned uh, the um, the vouchers and everything are designed for families with children. Um, they're our priority. Uh, it's not because we're trying to uh, to be mean or anything. It's just the way the the fund is set up, and there's rules that we have to follow. But we do make exception if we are able to help out all the families that we have, and we have vouchers left over. Then we certainly, certainly will give them out to uh, as many needy people as we can. So, Perfect. Awesome. I just don't want to get everybody's hopes up yeah. because it's there is, and it's not a, a Schumacher Lions thing. It's a criteria with the fund, and because it's a charitable uh, fund, there's certain rules and stuff that Some we have criteria to follow. To follow. Yeah. At the end of the day, the, the big way to help is to share, you know, the information mm -hmm. coming from the Lions Club, uh, Country 93.1, mm -hmm. in our pages, and help it get into the hands of people that are able to financially Maybe, assist. To yeah. make a donation. I like watching the people on the phones, too. Yeah, I don't know. But maybe the less touch the phones this year, Kinsman. Yeah, Absolutely. we were we were on yeah. the phone bank last year. Where, they, they allowed you on the phone? Yes, they did. You did yes, you you didn't did. disconnect someone by accident, no, did no, you? No, did not. <laughs> took, uh, took a few challenges. Yeah, all right. It's fun uh, taking the challenges in person. Yeah, so uh, yeah. we'll definitely be down there in the lion's den doing that uh, next Thursday. <laughs> yeah, there we good go. Stuff. Yeah, He's really going to be working stuff, hard that right? day. I know uh, I know you guys are the voice. <laughs> but when I think of the voice, I, I think about those people on TV. And then again, I kind of laugh because I know you guys can't sing. So. Well, maybe we, 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 we well, will for a donation. I'll sing for a donation. That's and right. then they'll be uh, donating to have me not sing. So it's, it's a win-win yeah. win situation. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Well, well, right. Whatever it takes. Maybe, maybe, we'll just, maybe we'll just throw Mark on the radio for 12 hours and he sings until we hit 70,000. We won't we, we won't stop until we hit it. Yeah. Or, yeah. There you go. There, there will not be he an off button either for those people. He <laughs> would do it a thousand percent. Oh, well, Mark, it's, got, it's got to be Mariah Carey's. All I want for Christmas is you. I want Luke. Twelve hours of Mark singing it. <laughs> Look, you took Louise's call last oh, I year. Did, I did. So I you did, did a good Louise, job. Louise, there you go, Louise. Well, thank you. We hope to, uh, you know, hopefully yeah. I'll, uh, I'll grab Louise this yeah. year too. And Joanne's talking about her experience. Um, you know, um, being on the phones for the when it was over at CTV. So a lot, a lot of people in the community come out and uh, volunteer, and still do to make this happen. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. We're going to get uh, Ronnie to uh, thank our sponsors and partners, including the Lions Club and Country 93.1. Awesome partners. Yes. And when we come back, we are giving away four movie passes yeah, four for movie the passes theater there. Imagine Kinsman. it's cinema. Yeah, is, that's right. Uh, right after this. All right. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thanks, Shane. Thanks, guys. Appreciate thank you very you. much. Have a good night, guys. Yeah. The Tibbetts Festivals and Events Committee is committed to bringing top-notch musical entertainment to the North. We all love Rock on the River, and they've got amazing events planned for 2024. Log on for more detail at TibbettsFestivals.com. Need residential or commercial junk removal? Then call Pat at Timmins Junk Removal today, 705-288-5065. Pat also does snow removal. And we're proud to be the host for the South Porcupine Tree Lighting and Family Skate. 
coming up Saturday, December 23rd at the Barn. We'll see you there between 5 and 8 p.m. And take a test drive today in a brand new Palisade at Timmins Hyundai. Book a test drive now, 705-360-1500 or browse the lot, 800 Riverside Drive. And go for gold with Rock and Gold Gymnastics as they get set for their gymnastics qualifier competition set for Saturday, December 16th at Confederation Arena. All the details online at rockgold.uplifterinc.com. And Frank Rabino now rents bins at Rabino's Petro Kid in the 8, 15, and 30 yard sizes. Perfect for your next reno job. Call Frank today for your quote, 705 288 8027. And come cheer on the storm Friday night at the Just Jordan Arena as they take on the French River Rapids at 7 p.m. It's also Senior Christmas Night at the rink. And the second annual Fly With Me fundraiser presented by Lisa from Met is coming up January 27th at 5 p.m. at the Porcupine Dante Club. Tickets are on sale now with the proceeds to the TDH Breast Wellness Center. And if you're a downtown business, inquire today about the Christmas Business Spotlight for free advertising on our show. Email us today kinsandclop at gmail.com. Mathis and Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram are now partners with Timmons Hyundai and they're now open Saturdays for you 10 to 2. Visit their showroom now, 349 Highway 11 in Matheson. And who will win Sparks Up Your Lunch with Sparks Pizza at 206 Third Ave? Nominate a business now on our main post and it just might be you for week 6. Check out Sparks Amazing Menu now online at sparkspizza.ca and boost your business for Christmas with Jerona Borden Kelly Lawyers. Nominate a business on our main post with the winners posted every Friday. It's still time to spruce up your office for the holidays with DAP Cleaning Solutions. Call Andrew and now for your free quote on carpet cleanings and strip and wax job for the rest of 2023. 705-465-3500. And do you need investment advice, life insurance advice? Contact Sebastian Vermette Insurance and Financial Limited. 705-264-4395. And are you buying or selling over the holidays then let albert seal the deal with royal LePage northern realty leaders let albert work for you 705-465-3493 and the holiday packs are back at jackpot time timids 50 dollars with 70 dollars worth of fun in each pack get yours today at 251 first avenue and on the big screen this week beyonce napoleon and thanksgiving and more for tickets and showtimes log on to imaginecinemas.com and Dare Timmons teaming up with Tisdale Mechanical Contracting and us for their annual toy drive coming up Saturday, December 9th, 1 to 3 at Canadian Tire Timmons. Toys going to Victim Services. And the Porcupine Gold Kings take on the Stingers twice this week, once in Iroquois Falls Tuesday and then back to the barn Friday night at 8. And for the gift of PMHA, get your Junior Gold Kings, PMHA, or Gold Kings logoed blankets now. The perfect holiday gift for any hockey player or fan. Contact Shannon Costello today through the PMHA for yours. And she's the producer of That Hunting Girl in Sportsman Channel Canada, Amanda Lynn Mayhew. And find your dream home today with Jessica Gervais at Royal LePage Northern Realty Leaders. Contact Jessica now for her listing, 705-360-7000, or Check her listings out online, Jessica Gervais at royallepage.ca. And give the gift of bowling this holiday season from Midtown Bowl. They have something fun for everyone. Call now, 705-267-3500 for your gift certificates. Hair gone today? Want it back tomorrow? Then contact Louise LaFond at Look 140 because Louise can help. Call for a consultation, 705-267-7566 or log on and see her services at look140.com. And let's pack the max Saturday night at 7 for the U18 Timmins Majors Teddy Bear Toss. Bring a new or gently used stuffy to the rink. And the United Way Sand Trade Northeast Ontario need volunteers this holiday season. Contact the Volunteer Resource Center today if you can lend a hand. 705-560-3330, extension 202. And helping unserved and underserviced communities in the north, it's Neonet. Check out what they can do for your business today. Neonet .on.ca or drop in and see them. 85 Pine Street, South Timmins, Unit 105. We're back. All right there. So uh, back back in action. Back Ronnie, in action. Ronnie was trying to tell Tuesday me something when, when, when we were about to go live here. He's trying to, I don't know what he said there. I don't know what he said. <laughs> that's microphone. right. Ronnie's uh, busy uh, on the comments. He's clicking the comments. Yes, uh, that's right. Running the board. 
So yeah. once again, if you need help, uh, you can contact the Lions Club directly. Ronnie has posted the number in the chat. Yeah. Uh, they're asking if you do need help, so that means applying for a food voucher, which is $150, uh, if you can have that in by Friday, because they do like to know how many people or families they are targeting yeah. for. And then they can hit that yeah. mark, uh, hopefully yeah. next, uh, next Thursday. That's right. And yeah. if you can help, join the Radiothon on the 7th. There's going to be lots of information about uh, how to donate. They take all types of yes. payments. Yep. Shane, Tyler, the crew, everybody over there. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be yeah. a great day. And again, uh, like you heard uh, Shane say, they're going to have a, a, uh, you know, a radio number that uh, will direct to uh, you know, Country 93. Mm -hmm. Point one studios, and of course the number that uh, gets you the lion's Well, we'll dance. be around too. You can drop uh, money into the cheer pot. Uh, we'll be uh, doing some streaming of the event, so uh, maybe we'll pop into Country 93 one that day to uh, see what's You got to uh, get up early there. that day. In the lion's den. How, how's your cheer pot going to be going? My you cheer, got my I don't cheer know if you, well, you get up as early as me there, kids. But well, I have that, a baby in my house. <laughs> the, 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 the coffee cup might yeah. be uh, filled yeah. with a little bit more cheer. Uh, yeah, to keep us going that day. <laughs> there we go, pal. But uh, yeah. it, is, it is amazing. We we had a lot of fun in the uh, in the station this morning. You know, I, I wanted to introduce a Garth Brooks song, but uh, no, he, Ty he Tyler didn't let us do that. He hit our mute button there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, Slamming and banging control. into some thunder rolls, rocking at a country ninety three point one. I think I would do a decent job. You would. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Nat. We appreciate you. Yes, we do. Thank yeah. you so much. A whole bunch of, they, they consistently are getting new games over at the Midtown Yes, Bowl yes, yes. They keep upgrading yeah. and upgrading. So if you haven't been, make sure you go. And again, uh, some of those games, you know, PS5s, uh, the, the, the winning coming out of Midtown Bowl. Yeah. You just might win yourself something nice for underneath that tree. Yeah. That is the best. He is the best. Gives tons of prizes uh, to give away to folks and uh, on our show. Lots of people and we're, have hey, some bowling fun. And the weather's cold. You don't like being out in the cold there, Kinsman? This is why bowling's a, a, a great thing this to do. This is a, a great thing yeah. to do. That's, That's right. right. Yes. Um, it's Landon's birthday today, right? Yeah, so happy birthday, Landon. I don't know but, uh, if Landon's yeah. watching or not, but... Amazing young lad and man in our community. He's been a big fan uh, of our show. He's a big since, fan uh, of the Rock. Year one. He's a big Rock fan. Yes, he we is. know that. He'll probably be going to see some games pretty soon for his birthday. And he's a real sweetheart. And he's always holding up kins and clones. He's on signs, our wall, but, uh, wall of yeah. fame. Uh, so, if you walk happy through our birthday. studio, so happy birthday, Landon. Yes. And again, uh, he made a nice uh, yeah. kins and clomps sign. Uh, yeah. You know, and it's still on our wall there. Yeah. We love that guy. He's a, he's a definition of how kid. everyone should yeah. be very friendly and welcoming. So I'm sure he's he, he, he's eating some birthday cake and enjoying his life. He's, uh, having, a, yeah. he's having a good birthday tonight. Yeah. Have, uh, you know, if you <laughs> follow him or have Wait. him on Facebook, he's, uh, he's getting lots of love. I got to go back to Kathy's. What's Kathy so hey, last time I went bowling, someone ripped their pet. So this is because their bowling stance was so wild. Or <laughs> I, I got to hear more of this story, Kathy. <laughs> and if it was me, just stop the story right there. <laughs> I don't know, but that sounds like something I would do for. Yeah, we've um, so. all had that uh, that situation. You just hope when you rip the pants, you're wearing uh, clean drawers, right? Uh, what am I wearing? My boxers? You don't uh, wear clean uh, drawers? Uh, oh, of course. Uh, mine's do. always clean. Right? You hope you're wearing drawers, maybe. <laughs> then that's more appropriate <laughs> for me. The ones with the evaporated yeah. uh, elastic. What do they call that? Arnold's best movie, Commando. Remember that? <laughs> It's not, it's not a nice look when you think of men doing that. No, no, not a nice <laughs> no. look at all. No one wanted it's that. Like a walrus floss of teeth. <laughs> like a walrus. Oh, there's Landon right there. Happy birthday, Happy birthday my good Landon. man. Yes. Yes. Hope it is an amazing day. He's a big time Sailor Moon fan, and uh, I'm sure he had a great day. A great family, by the way. Yes. Yeah, they're amazing people. Prize, Kinsman. Ronnie, wheel of winning? Yeah, we're giving away four passes to Imagine Cinemas. I know Napoleon's on the big screen. If you're still uh, seeking to see Thanksgiving, we uh, saw that. I Tracy know. and I back on Friday. You finally a seen one. a movie yes, before me. And I, you have never, I did. I've never I heard the end of it. I haven't spoiled it yet. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard I haven't the end of it. You've finally there's seen. Good, there's some good scenes yeah. in that one. Every day you walk in the office, you know I've seen Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're lucky. Yeah. I do want to see it. Yeah. Oh, and good. I haven't spoiled it. Yeah, so you let's uh, let's give away these four passes. All right, Ronnie. And again, uh, see what's going on. The wheel of winning. The wheel uh, of winning. Where it stops, no one knows who's gonna win. Let's see. Your buddy Robert Arthur. No, Scott Raymond. Hey, Scott Raymond. There we go. So there you go, Scott. We'll yes. get uh, these tickets in line with you. I know Scott uh, watches from Cochrane. So yeah. Next time you're in Timmins, you 
I do he, believe you've got a year to use the passes, Scott. He's a massive country fan. Yeah, uh, Scott Raymond, a uh, real nice guy. I think he won a trip on the radio station. He at won one their point. trip last year. Yeah, yeah. So, so he pretty pretty lucky guy. And yeah. Again, lucky uh, tonight. We'll put the passes on uh, the Ontario Northland. That's how we get his prizes when he wins here. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Shout out it. to the drivers, Kinsman. That's it. Yeah. I still, I do send packages on uh, Ontario Northland. Still, still one of the best ways yeah. to get your packages to and from. People That's always right. say, uh, you know, snail mail, but mm -hmm. uh, put it on the bus. You're going to get it within Ontario, yeah. uh, at le you know, within a, a, a busing, you know, within an eight-hour day. You know, I live in Porcupine, yeah. so our delivery, most Timmins businesses won't deliver out there. So we, our, our pizza comes Ontario Northland. Did you know that? It comes on to Ontario Northland. <laughs> there we go. And Moran, you know, man. And Moran and the, delivers it personally. The, the crew, yes, uh, the yeah. OR, we love them there. Um, did we give a shout out uh, last night? Uh, Joanne's granddaughters had a big time successful tournament. I believe I think they brought we, in we made a, a slight mention, yeah. but let's mention it again. That's right. We should yes. uh, give a shot. I believe it's her two granddaughters uh, brought home maybe a gold and a gold or a gold and a silver and ring at. Joanne will kick let us it, know. Kicking butt. Yeah. And taking names and ring at. Again, so, the yeah. fastest game on ice. And it's uh, nice to yeah. see uh, her, her granddaughters. Yeah. Uh, still, hey. they're, 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 they're the master of all, all sports. Sweet you know, Freeze. Wake, wakeboarding. Yeah. Um, Sweet Freeze is saying right there, so he's talking about back to Ontario Northland. Best and cheapest way overnight. Yeah, it's good for small business. It is good yeah. for small business, and again, uh, you know why not? A lot of a lot of a lot of Christmas gifts do get shipped, and again, you can do yeah. uh, the good old uh, COD uh, yeah. cash on delivery. They'll make sure it gets yeah. to uh, the rightful owner. Uh, okay, so Brooke Brooke had brought home the gold. So congratulations to Brooke. And yeah. uh, what else are we saying? Trisha's is asking people to follow her business page. Trisha's, yeah. um, you know, it, 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 I love when people start their own business. It takes a lot of courage and bravery to get out there and do it. So congratulations yes, to Trisha. Yes, congratulations, Trisha, uh, for doing that on your uh, new endeavor. And, yeah. And Chris is saying Sopo is in Bun. Oh, it's a word. Kinsman says Idaho. Uh, Way too Sopo far. Sopo is in, uh, yeah, bomb. What's that word that blank. starts with that? Idaho. You're always saying it here, Way but it's far. slipping How's my it mind. Too? How's it too far? <laughs> it, it is. is. <laughs> I, I grew up in the GTA. It took me 45 minutes to get to the on-ramp of the 401. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's different. Yeah. It is. It feels far. All right, everyone, have yourself. I guess that's it, eh, Kinsman? Yeah, I think we're done. Yeah. Uh, for a Tuesday, we'll be so, back here. To, uh, no, we're night. not back here. We no, are at, we're Renaissance. at Renaissance for the uh, Spirit Challenge. The Spirit Challenge. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to be uh, broadcasting our show from the gymnasium of uh, Renaissance. And again, we're going to find out which school, high school, yeah. has the best team spirit. Last year it was Terrio. Who will it be this year? The United Way Spirit Challenge. Yes, they invited it's, it's us back to stream it. Yeah, they're uh, they're they're gonna see what we can do, and yeah, we'll have the the whole setup down there. Only we'll thing missing though, we'll, uh, we'll be missing uh, Teddy uh, Teddy from the NOE's uh, Christmas yeah. decorations and Ronnie. Yeah, Ronnie won't be there. R Ronnie Come gets a, a night off. It's a night off. That's right. He can make because that that's his punishment for not making us a Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and again, a shout out to uh, Ronnie's other half there, Melissa. She yeah. uh, she made us uh, our our first two Christmas cards yeah. for twenty twenty. She's the best. All right, yeah. good night, everyone. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Never took a chance till you Looking for a fallback, always on the wrong track Trying to find a way around the truth Lost a lot of faith in finding my forever It takes a lot for me to never say never But I never Wanna be standing in the driveway Middle of the night, making eyes with your tail Doubling down, willing to lose it all on you Can't fight the feeling, cause breaking even just won't do I need to leave it all on the table Settling up for when that day comes and the take on It's leaving the what ifs in the rear view Don't wanna be standing in the driveway, middle of the night Making eyes with your daylights leaving Wanna be the hand you can hold, dancing a slow Songs on a wine drunk weekend Throwing up Hail Marys On a Friday night, baby Every story's got an underdog against the eyes And I'm betting everything I got On the long shot Yeah, you're my long shot If it's worth the 
leaving Wanna be the hand you can hold Dance in the slow Songs on a wine drunk weekend Throwing up Hail Marys On a Friday night 